Hello everyone, you join me back on All Car News and we are here with another wonderful car here at our test day. This is the IS500 and yes, it's been out for a while now, but I still have not gotten my hands on one. They're still pretty hard to find locally and around, even in our press fleet. So I am glad I'm able to drive this thing out here on the Canyon Roads today and I hopefully will get it in for a long-term review at some point, but definitely an interesting sports sedan. Rear wheel drive, V8 up front, nice power we have an automatic only gearbox here good differentials and it, it's an interesting vehicle and we'll get to that in a review but wow does this thing look absolutely gorgeous so let's go dive in now of course under the hood here is the highlight of this vehicle the five liter lexus v it's making around 472 horsepower in this application of course paired to an automatic only gearbox which is a little bit on the older end but this whole vehicle kind of channels the past and not in a bad way it kind of reminds me of older school muscle cars it has this relaxed yet aggressive nature to it both in the visual terms as well as this powertrain as well you know it this engine really does prioritize a lot of intake sound in terms of your own enjoyment and that's definitely something you can hear in this cabin it has a really unique mechanical old school style feeling that i really do appreciate in this vehicle and the way how this chassis set up it is you know built off DIS, which has been around for over 10 years now. It's definitely been updated, of course, but it has this old school flair to it that I honestly quite have appreciated in just this few minutes of driving it so far. Um, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous still in this uh, kind of redesigned IS body design. It's really, really a nice sedan in this kind of um, stone gray color we've seen on all vehicles today and the sharp lines of the is really just do continue to kind of impress i really like these um unique wheels you get on this if f sport for 500 performance here we have um, upgraded brakes behind those as well which is definitely needed um and this was kind of like a similar style to the launch edition ones where you have that red interior and this color combo out side out back here we had that unique quad tip exhaust layout here we're getting on this is f sport performance here a nod to the old isfs in the past as well stacked quad exhaust and they sound epic as well i love the taillights love the badging the subtle rear spoiler as well it's just like this unique blend of power but this relaxed nature to it i'll kind of get that a little bit more in the driving impressions in just a second here let's take a quick tour of the rear seats and as well as our rear cargo area because this is a sports sedan at the end of the day and it's meant for still hauling things around so you could fit golf clubs in here if you needed to throw in some luggage take this on a little bit of a road trip as well um might suffer in terms of fuel economy but you can do so and you still have space in the back seats to haul people around in hopping in said back seats opening up the door here IS is on the compact sport luxury sedan segment here with the 3 Series and a whole bunch of other competitors, C-Class, A4. And honestly, you know, it hasn't changed much in a long time, but I think the room back here is still decent. Um, there's a good amount of foot room here, lots of knee room and leg room. Um, not really anything in terms of thigh support, unfortunately, but I think it's a nice space. I love the red leather in here. It has this really bright, unique finish to it that really stands out. Um, it's a unique shade of red that you don't only really see in many different brands. And it's a nice spacious cabin, you know, definitely some older school plastics and materials in here, especially the door handles, um, but it's functional, it works, and there's really not much to really kind of harp on. There is just a gigantic driveline hump here for that rear wheel drive um, chassis here. Now let's go hop up front. Going into the front end of the IS is I'm sure we're all a little bit familiar with now the updated IS interior. We just have the lights on right now. Apologies, guys. Close up the door here and let's start it up. V8 thunders to life there. And of course, this is all the stuff we've seen on the next, the newer generation IS. We have this touchscreen display up here, but we still have the trackpad if you choose to use it. But of course, Apple CarPlay is now up here. Um, we still have an analog clock in here, which is, I think, a nice touch, actually. It looks really nice in terms of its design. And I do still appreciate the physical buttons here for our air conditioning and controls over here. I don't mind it. Everything has that old school heavy luxury Lexus feel that I think a lot of their newer products are kind of lacking a little bit. There's this tank-like build quality in this interior as well that I think some newer Lexus products just still can't emulate um, with newer design. We have a glove box here. I love the design of this interior. Very sporty and unique looking. Very, again, stands out from the crowd really well. I'm kind of glad they kind of went with an updated version of this interior instead of ripping it out and doing some new giant screen the style thing this is still a tasteful look old school style shifter here um prnd and manual mode as well 
nothing too crazy there. Small little center glove box cubby. Again, the track pad and our steering wheel, nice leather wrapped F Sport steering wheel. We have some red stitching on this particular one, which is a really nice touch as well. I really like that. Paddle shifters to control our auto gearbox, which I get not the biggest fan of, but we'll get to that in a second. I must say, shooting by us right now. And we have that old school style display here, which moves just like the old um, LC, LFA style display back in the days. Um, really cool display, very old style Lexus stuff, but again, very tasteful. It's nothing in your face, nothing loud or crazy in terms of design stuff. It's just, everything works very functional. We have 360 cameras as well. Very odd <laughs> view for them, but we do have them. And we also do have a rear sunshade as well. It's a luxury touch here in this sports sedan. You don't often see that too much in this particular segment. That's typically something for like a ES or a five series style sedan, but nonetheless, pretty cool. So nice Lexus emblems on the door panel there and let's go take this thing on a drive because that is really where the fun's going to come out of the is 500. <laughs> the car is warm guys i'm not just doing that for fun welcome to the is 500 f sport performance finally getting to drive this thing around we don't have too much time with it but i want to take you on some quick impressions we just drove it up the mountain now we're gonna go drive it down the mountain i thought i was filming but i was not my gopro battery died so apologies for the lack of some footage on this particular car but let's get it out of this gravel and back onto some proper tarmac here this car is unique in a lot of different aspects i think it, the best way to describe the is 500 f sport performance after we finish the whole name is it kind of blends two worlds it blends the old school world it also blends modern technology we have some nice differential technology we have some modern engine tuning um, but this is still five liter v8 under the hood it may be paired to an automatic gearbox sending power to the rear wheels as it should it has this whole setup has this really unique feeling of being relaxed almost like a sleeper car but with that grunt and power of that big naturally aspirated v that really just screams to life um when you kind of open it up which we are about to do right now because i've been having a blast with this thing <laughs> oh it's so much fun and I like how Lexus put a light yet precise steering rack in this car. Oh, that naturally aspirated power. It's so much fun to build up. You kind of forget about it sometimes when all you're driving all day is turbocharged engines, hybrids, and EVs. Um, it's kind of fun to come back into something like this because it reminds you of all that mechanical engineering going into these vehicles that makes it both sound incredible and perform incredible as well. Now up here on these mountain roads, I like how the steering isn't like fighting you so much. It has this light preciseness to it that I kind of appreciated a little bit in the G70. That one's definitely had some more heft to it, a little bit more artificial heft you can feel in there. Um, and some of the more BMW modern racks are kind of built like this, but they have a little bit more, um, a little bit more precise control to them. This is nice, floaty, precise, but I like how light this front end feels, especially when you're turning it in, because it makes you want to thrash this car around the corner so much, because this rear end definitely gets a little bit playful with the differential back there, as well as this V8. It, it really, the best way to describe this car is a Japanese muscle sports sedan. It, it has that muscle car feeling to it. It's not, it doesn't feel heavy or like a boat, but I, I mentioned in the video that I thought it was something earlier when my camera died, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Maserati Ghibli Trofeo, but it feels lighter, better set up actually than that car. And with this naturally aspirated engine, I, I think it's just an even better package as well. Um, you know, I was, it was kind of getting into this thing thinking it was gonna be like the sharp performancey tool, but it's it's not like that. It has this soft edged aggression to it that I really do appreciate in a sports sedan because you really, really cannot find anything like this on the market right now. Everything's turbocharged, it's an inline six or it's a twin turbo V6. This, this is a, a look back at a, a nicer, louder day that revs up to 7,000 RPM. <laughs> oh, what a blast this thing is. And 
I love this interior as well. It's pretty functional now. You have all your modern touches. You have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that fun stuff. You have a touchscreen now. Um, but this car, I think, is a little bit misunderstood and at the same time being hard to get. And I think some people are a little bit afraid of just getting an older vehicle. They want newer tech. But if you're someone who doesn't care about all that, honestly, nonsense, and wants a pure, fun driving experience, this thing is definitely the way to go. Now, I will say, I think the transmission lets down this car just a little bit. But when you start getting into like these twisties and corners, it feels so planted. The suspension is honestly fantastic. It's not stiff. It, it, it kind of has a really nice soft damping to it that I really wasn't expecting. And it makes this car a little bit more fun to drive. Um, so you're not like feeling like your back is being broken over all of this harsh pavement. Going around this corner here. Brakes are really strong as well. Oh, it just has this race car like V8 sound to it that Lexus's V8s are kind of known for and it. Oh my gosh, that power, once you're in, once you're in that ideal rev band, oh, it just sounds so glorious. It's performance downshifting for me now, of course. Oh. Really fun car, I wish I had more time with this. Hopefully we can have more time with this to really properly test out this IS500. But I hope you guys have enjoyed um, this quick tour and review of it over this past week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick drive and review of the IS500, because <laughs> honestly it's pretty, pretty fun. Um, it's, it feel, honestly feels set up to be like a drift machine. It feels like it wants to let loose and have fun type of vehicle. So hopefully, We'll get one for a week. And Lexus, thank you guys for even building this type of vehicle because we all know that naturally aspirated cars are going extinct. And along that comes with some of the fun that we've all enjoyed in vehicles for a long time. Anyways, thank you guys for joining this video and stay tuned for more coming on all car news. Cheers.